Hey everybody, happy Labor Day weekend. Alexis up here with the Daily Racing Forum to go over a pick three for this Saturday, August 31st. And my, was there a lot to choose from? We have 11 graded stakes races tomorrow alone across the country at Saratoga, Del Mar, and Kentucky Downs. Um, but Del Mar is definitely the headliner this weekend with the Pacific Classic. They have five graded stakes races on their card and they have three of them back to back um, to end the card. So that's the pick three I chose, the all stakes pick three. All three of those races are also Breeders' Cup win in your end races. So whoever wins these three will get an entry into the Breeders' Cup World Champions this November at Del Mar. So there's a lot on the line. We're going to learn a lot about how our fields for the championships are shaping up. So it starts with race number nine. The grade three green flash handicap going five furlongs on the turf for three year olds and up. I'm spreading a little bit in here. I like the number three sassy nature. I'm 15 to one morning line and she's running her third race this year. She took a break from the end of January to August and then came back this month at Del Mar to win with her lifetime best in the 95 buyer. Her trainer, Luis Mendez, may not be a super high percentage trainer overall, but he does win 25% of the time for these second off long layoffs with an ROI over three and a half dollars. The eight, Nona Hudson, has early speed, but also almost one closing last out in a blanket finish where everyone seemed to be separated by noses and necks. And this will be the second off of the layoff for him. So I expect him to improve from that start, and I think we may see his best yet. One concern I do have is that he was running his faster figures this year with Lasix um, in those most recent starts. So he's going to have to go without that tomorrow. Number nine, Connie Swingle is four and a half to one. And she had almost two years off. She missed all of her four-year-old year and then came back last month at Del Mar. Clearly there was some kind of injury, but she came back looking fantastic in the Daisy Cutter, winning it with a 99 buyer. She's the only mare in here going up against the boys. So we always like to root for that. And finally, number 10, Motorious, um, a British horse with a morning line of three and a half to one that will likely be the favorite in here. He's definitely the one to beat, competing last year in the Breeders' Cup Turf Sprint and losing a length and a half behind no balls and then winning this race last year, actually. So he's gonna be looking to be the defending champion and secure himself another shot at the big one at Breeders' Cup in Del Mar in a few months. His races this year have been a little bit slower than those epic performances from the year before, but both of them, he has excuses in both. He had some tough trips. So I think he's likely still that beast we know from previous years, and we're sure gonna find out tomorrow. Then the big feature, the grade one Pacific classic going a mile and a quarter on the dirt for three year olds and up. There's a million dollars on the line along with that breeder's cup entry and learned today that the number seven, Adara Manor, who was the Philly taking on the boys and was my top pick has scratched. She will not be competing. So that opens this race up a little bit more. I'm going to use the number three, Dr. Venkman, four to one. A uh, very lightly raced horse compared to everyone else in here with only five lifetime starts. And he's never done worse than second place. He most recently won the grade two San Diego handicap over the same course. Uh, last out was his first time going long and he looked really great doing it. He should be forwardly placed uh, no more than a couple lengths off the lead. And given his pedigree, I'm not concerned that they're adding a little bit more distance today. And finally, number five, Katona, 15 to one morning line. Um, I'm sorry, eight to one and had an entire year off after two consecutive wins. And then his trainer, Doug O'Neill brought him back last month in a tough spot, the grade two San Diego handicap at Del Mar, which he got second place with nearly his fastest time ever. Um, his last four workouts are what really make me like him though. They've all been really fast and he's got that six furlong workout in there. And I really like when I see trainers do this before these long distance races to give them that extra long workout. Um, the fact that we're getting the longer odds is a little bit mind blowing to me. I hope they stick around. I'll definitely be using them in um, this pick three as well as my exotic wagers. And finally, race 11 is the grade two Del Mar mile going a mile on the turf for three-year-olds and up. I like a couple in here. I like the number one astronomer um, who ran a really impressive race last out. He's very quick early and the time from US pace projector does show this race should favor front runners. 
aside from his early pace, we've seen him have decent leg kick as well. So I think he can get that nice position um, and will be very live towards the end of the race. The best thing though are his odds. He's 20 to one morning line. So absolutely worth including in this pick five as well as using underneath and exotic wagers. Another 20 to one that I like is number seven flashiest. While this is a class jump for him, um, he hasn't run against graded stakes company since 2022, but his figures have just been skyrocketing this year. And he was only a couple lengths off first piece and astronomer last out in the wicker stakes. Um, Leonard Powell is doing exceptional this meet and flashiest has the best time from us late pace rating in the race. The race shape does look like it may not have a lot of speed, which isn't necessarily great for a closer, but I do think he's capable. And if the pace does, um, heat up a little bit, it would be a really good spot for him. And at 20 to one, I'll be including him. And finally, the number nine, uh, first piece, this is the horse to beat. He's got the strongest early speed in here. So the pace set up, if it does stay cold, does favor him. And he won the wicker stakes that I just mentioned with a hundred buyer and has some really nice, uh, faster than 12 second furlong works leading up today. So I would not be surprised if he goes to the lead and wires the field. This all stakes pick three has a 50 cent minimum. So it's $12 for 50 cents or 24 for a dollar. Best of luck to everybody on your wagers this weekend all around the country, especially if you play this pick three with me. And I hope everybody just has a really fun Labor Day weekend.